Glimpses of a tessellated concrete exterior facade is the first indicator of an architectural masterpiece that lies within a narrow plot of land in Singapore. Located in the peaceful East Coast region of Singapore, Homona Joyce T. recalled how her quest to find a perfect family home was far from a walk in the park. We viewed no less than 50 houses, and I visited this house three times before I finally purchased it. She revealed. She chose this location in part because it was the neighborhood where her husband was born and because she had always liked this part of Singapore. However, there were specific challenges to overcome on this narrow floor. 818 SQFT plot of land from the get-go. For starters, the backyards of four other semi-detached houses faced her home. I did not want to look out and see four backyards with laundry as my view. She said. To transform the space, she engaged architectural firm D-Lab to rethink the layout and design of the house. Architect Warren Lu Sai, what you have is basically a facade that you cannot open up too much because of privacy. But at the same time, how do you bring natural light and ventilation to the deep spaces within the house? He added, the other challenge is literally because you have no views. How do you internally create very interesting sightlines, both prospective and intimate? His solution was to reimagine the interiors of the house through the construction of indoor and outdoor gardens as well as to create a step terrace structure. The greenery serves as a natural visual barrier on the perimeter of the house while at the same time offers its occupants an opportunity to find sanctuary within their home. The result of the two-and-a-half-year project? A lush urban retreat combining elements of light and water to create a calm atmosphere. The house is designed with very strategic openings to the skylights, so during different times of the day, the light changes, added Lou. Incorporating these natural elements within the house was something T had specifically requested. I wanted the home to have a natural feel to it. When you are in the courtyard, you feel like you are in the moment, she said. Lou continued, We always believe that the house is an urban repose. Especially in the context of Singapore, which is a highly urbanist and landscape city. The home has to be something that is familiar, but yet has sufficient variety and variations within. Besides incorporating traditional Chinese aesthetics into the home decor as a celebration of her culture, the house has also been meticulously designed so that every level caters to the family members' individual interests. For instance, the mezzanine, which connects to other sections of the house, is where the family gathers socially. This is also where T indulges in her pastimes, such as tending to her bonsai plants and meditating. They also have a basement recreation room for communal activities like karaoke gatherings or movie screenings. The first floor is where T and her husband enjoy their quiet time. Their spacious master bedroom has space for an indulgent massage chair. And this is also where her luxurious walk-in wardrobe is located. Her daughter Audrey is on another level, and it features generous living and working spaces as well as a small outdoor garden. Up on the third floor is her son Aaron's domain, where there are two extra rooms reserved for his future family. This house is a manifestation of Aaron's lifelong dream. My son has dreamt of multi-level living since he was nine. He said, I will build a condominium for you. Mummy, you will have your own floor and I will have my own floor. When my son said that, I wanted to bring that dream to life, she fondly shared. The cherry on top of this lovingly designed home is the rooftop, which houses a dedicated tea room for tea to share her love for this traditional beverage with like-minded friends. I like collecting all kinds of teas, ranging from Western to Chinese and Japanese. I enjoy just doing simple things like chatting over tea, said T, 
who once traveled to Japan with her daughter to take lessons on how to conduct a Japanese tea ceremony. With a smile, she reflected that the house is nothing short of amazing, not just the architecture, but also the people who bring the space to life. She elaborated, What I have discovered most amazing about living here is that we have all gotten to know each other's friends. The network and bonding is very cozy and this is what I love about this house.